Good morning. Do you know what a tea cosy is for? Of course you do. Tea cosy keeps the heat of the teapot in and allows the tea to brew more efficiently and keeps your cuppa nice and hot by the time you pour it. So much better than doing it in the mug. But do you know what a light shade is for? Again, it's not for keeping light in, but for directing light or perhaps reducing the, the ferocity of the light to make sure that it's still safe to look in that direction. No one would put a tea cosy over a light bulb. And this verse about light being seen from Matthew 5 feels to me very timely at a time when we're starting to return to our building for church services. It's great that it's slowly becoming possible for us to gather uh, inside again on site. But it would be a travesty if our focus was just about enjoying that. So that we could create a nice cosy atmosphere and, and keep it all in like putting a giant tea cosy over the building. Remember, Jesus is described as the light of the world. But here, it's you and me who are described as the light of the world. And we're called not to hide ourselves away in our meetings, but to give light to a dark world. And we're to do that not just by what we say, but by what we do. And in doing so, that brings glory to God. That's quite a challenge for today. But do remember, light doesn't work hard in order to shine. It just does. And the reason it just does, it's attached to a power source. I pray that you might know the power source within you from God's Holy Spirit today and that you might shine to all the people that you meet. God bless you.